May 2013, Haysborough in Norfolk. A storm has exposed mysterious traces on the beach. A team of archaeologists is carrying out a rescue dig. Last week, just walking across the beach, we found this, this surface and you can see that it's covered in little hollows and depressions. They've been washed out by the sea, very slowly eroding the sediments away and uncovering that surface. So it's very fragile, very delicate surface. We're wondering whether these are in fact footprints, animal footprints and, and possibly even human footprints. There's one just around here with a bit of base. You might be able to imagine a bit of heel, an arch, and um, front part of the foot. But really, what we have to do is uncover them and then take very detailed photographs from different angles, so we can build a 3D reconstruction. This is one of the most important archaeological sites in Northern Europe. And if these are human footprints, then really we've got this fantastic evidence for early humans that we don't see on on many other sites in the world. In August, the team returns to Haysborough to investigate the site where the traces were found. Haysborough is one of the richest paleoarchaeological sites in Europe. Its rapidly receding coastline has already yielded many treasures. We're finding a remarkable series of finds. This is a jawbone from an extinct type of giant beaver and a whole range of other creatures such as elephants, rhinos, mammoth and so on. Incredible plant remains have been discovered. Um, here's incredibly well-preserved pine cone. And importantly for us, also associated with these remains are stone tools. This is evidence that humans were here going back to 850 or possibly 950,000 years ago. Haysborough all this time ago would have looked very, very different. We're actually sitting above the remains of a very large river and this river we think was the River Thames, so um, considerably further north than its present course. The rocky surface where the traces were found is once more hidden beneath the sand. But early analysis of the photographs has revealed new detail. The hundreds of photographs that have been taken of these potential footprints have been stitched together in a computer and they've created a three-dimensional model of the surface. What you've got is a clear set of impressions. They're footprint shaped and some of them are in a line as well. So here it looks like a trail. The shape's also intriguing. They don't look like animal footprints, they're elongated. It's looking increasingly likely that these are indeed human footprints. But if the traces are human footprints, how old are they? To find out, the team are taking a series of cores through the cliff to sample the river deposits in which they were found. We've gone through 10 metres of sediment and we've now reached the sediments that contain all the organic remains, the bone, the plant remains, but also the stone tools. And these closely relate to the footprint surface. And what we're able to do here is uh, look at the pollen from these sediments, uh, which will tell us about the vegetation at the time, but also look at the sediments underneath. And this will help us understand the dating of the site. As investigations continue, the results of the pollen analysis have started to come through. Along with other tests, this will help date the potential footprints. So far, the pollen analysis is telling us that we're probably dealing with um, the end of a warm period as climate is cooling and the vegetation has changed from deciduous woodland to this conifer-dominated woodland. So this is really beginning to tie it into what we know about climate change and vegetation change in the past. And this helps reassure us that we're probably dealing with a, an age of either 850,000 years ago or possibly 950,000 years ago. Further analysis of the footprints has led to an exciting discovery. The latest 3D models show these prints in incredible detail. And by measuring the footprints, by looking at the length and the width, we can actually reconstruct 
the height and the body weight of the individuals. And from that we can show a male and also smaller individuals which probably included females and youngsters. We don't know what they're doing there, but they're clearly a family group rather than a hunting party. We can't be certain about the human species that left these marks, but we know from the age of the site that in southern Europe there's a species called Homo antecessa, and it's possible that these tracks are actually the footprints left by that early human species. The footprints at Haysborough are truly an amazing archaeological find. They're without doubt the oldest human footprints in Europe and some of the oldest in the world. It really is a truly remarkable discovery.